Hi, today we're going to be talking about Canocor. It is going to be a two-part episode of which uh, this episode will focus on what is Canocor and what signs you look out for. How do you know your dog has got Canocor? just me clearing my throat, excuse me. So, kennel cough is actually a form of bronchitis. It's similar to a common cold or a chest infection in humans, and usually it is not life-threatening. It is caused by a mixture of bad bacteria and viruses that targets your dog's respiratory system. This particular virus uh, is airborne, so it can be transmitted through the air. The infectious agents can also be transmitted via contact uh, with uh, contaminated surfaces such as uh, shared food or water bowls or toys. To call it Kanokov is a bit of a misnomer. That's not exactly accurate. So uh, the reason why it's called Kanokov is because it is uh, usually by airborne and in close proximity when there's a lot of dogs together, like in the kennels, uh, you can get Kanokov. But the reality is that it is airborne. So any nose-to-nose -nose contact with dogs in a park can certainly spread kennel cough. So usually your dog will be at higher risk if uh, it's, uh, he, he or she meets plenty of uh, dogs in a park. So just remember that you don't necessarily need to go to the kennels to get kennel cough. So the virus that's usually affected is uh, parainfluenza and the, vir uh, the bacteria that is affected as well together with this virus is called Bordetella. When those two are combined together, then you do get a more a symptomatic dog, the dog coughs more. So if they are on its own, if the dog has only been affected by one, usually the signs isn't as uh, much, isn't as obvious. Apart from this, sometimes uh, there are other sort of uh, factors that can potentially make the coughing worse. Um, example for like a cigarette smoke or dust. And what that can do is that it can certainly irritate the lungs, cause the immune system to drop. Then it will make you more susceptible to the virus like parainfluenza. Then after that, leading to further infection from potential bacteria like Bordetella, causing um, the symptoms of kennel cough. And uh, as with most uh, common colds, there is a higher risk of infection in animals who are already sick, young, or unvaccinated, those animals who have got issues, immunocompromised, the immune system is not 100% to fight off bacteria that it usually fights. So those animals, they are more prone to kennel cough. So how do you know your dog has got kennel cough? What sort of symptoms does it um, show? Usually you'll, find, you'll hear unproductive uh, coughing, like a dry hacking cough and uh, ending off with a unproductive vomit. A little bit like <coughs> that sort of noise. I spent quite some time trying to master that. I don't think I'm good yet, but most of us get the gist. Uh, and apart from that, apart from that very, very loud, noisy coughing um, sort of a sound that sometimes can frustrate uh, the pet owners or yourself more than your pet, um, the dogs tend to remain bright, they're happy, and they're doing exactly as what they usually do, um, just having that loud cough. Sometimes, if they're a little bit more severely affected, they may have a fever. So pay attention for uh, lethargy, off color, shivering, a lack of appetite, just not being himself. The reduced appetite would therefore sometimes cause weight loss, which is also something else to look out for. Less enthusiasm for food is often a sign of illness, whereby your dog is still eating, but is not eating as fast or as quick or finishing the food. Also, lack of interest to exercise, a bit more lethargic, becoming less playful, those are all little signs of a dog that may be unwell. Sometimes uh, they may also sneeze more and have uh, runny eyes. So uh, check for discharge. <clears throat> and sometimes you do get discharge from the nose as well. Something else to look out for would be swollen lymph glands, which you may or may not feel. And uh, sometimes they don't only swell up in size, 
they may also be a little bit sore to touch. Not dissimilar to common colds in us, in humans. In regards to the main symptom of kennel cough, it is the coughing. That loud, nasty cough that sounds like a bit of honking. And sometimes the severity of the cough may turn into a bit of gagging and even vomiting because it irritates the airway too much. Or sounds like they got something stuck in their throat even though they don't produce any mucus or vomit. So those are the signs of kennel cough. Usually, if you're not sure, ring the vet and the vet can advise you better. I hope that's been helpful to tell you a little bit more about kennel cough and what signs to look out for. Watch out for the next episode. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel below. I look forward to seeing you in the next live event. This is Amity. Mm -hmm.